plays. Uh, the guys in here before me, HB, can't say enough about his performance tonight on both ends of the floor, stepping up in big moments. Um, and it's just a proud moment for the everybody in the Bay Area just to be four wins away from uh, you know, our goal. And that's, that's a special feeling. We got to take a week. Okay. Take a, you know, a week off to get ready and uh, get our minds right and our game plan right for how we're going to beat Cleveland. And uh, I'm excited about it. Step back here along the wall to your left. Can you describe the mood before the doors opened up and everybody came in? When it, when it was just you guys, was there much celebrating going on? It was um, it was it was special, I think, because everybody was kind of enjoying the moment. And, uh, you wanted to say that. <laughs> it was um, it was special because wait, hold on. Right, no, we tried again. It's okay. Um, you know, we wanted to. Uh, Stand up. We wanted to uh, appreciate the moment, not take it for granted, because it was um, something that we've been waiting for and wanted to close out tonight. But you kind of take uh, take it for what it is, because you have four more wins and you don't want to get too ahead of yourself. So um, we're going to appreciate what we've done, because we got to be proud of winning a Western Conference. That was tough all year long, and um, we're excited about the next step. Steph, when you yeah, when you talk to the Rick Barrys and the, the forty year championship team, what what did you learn from your topic, conversations with them and kind of did you get a real idea like how long it's been since the franchise has got got this opportunity from talking to them? Um, hold on, we try it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her go. <laughs> Um, it was a good conversation. They came in was about a month ago, yeah, and kind of just talked about the camaraderie of the team and uh, you know the what it took to to win a championship and, and what it means for them, you know, forty years later, and for us to just stick our keep our head down, stay um, determined to work. And we can appreciate, you know, that feeling, um, you know, hopefully soon. So they, they, it was good inspiration for us because, you know, there are some guys that have been around the block and, and, and can come back and still celebrate what they accomplished 40 years ago. And so we're, we're going to hopefully get that done t tonight or uh, next series and, and uh, be that team. Steph, did you ever realize how much you would have to give to get a – NBA championship. I mean, you landed on your head. Clay is bleeding from his ear. You guys may be quiet guys and passive guys, but you're extremely tough guys as well. Talk about that, please. Yeah, we're very resilient, and there's obviously storylines all throughout the playoffs and things that you have to get through to, uh, you know, to win a championship. And everybody's got to be locked in. Everybody's got to be, uh, you know, determined to whatever comes our way we got to be able to fight through it so i was able to give something last game uh hope you know trying to get back out there and get a win game four it didn't happen clay comes out after um you know getting hit in, in the head he's bleeding from the ear like you said and, and he's able to uh impact the game uh hb not knowing when his shots are going to come always ready for the moment so there's little storylines that you can find throughout you know each series each game that um, are pretty special moments that you need to win a championship. Steph, you take your daughter a second time. How do you feel like that? Say that. Where are you at? Where Sorry, you right here. I mean, you take your daughter a second time. How do you feel like that? I think she's taking advantage of the moment for sure. She's uh, she's way too comfortable. Steph, obviously this is going to be Warriors against Cavaliers. It's a team game, but, you know, we're all going to look at and the battle of MVPs, and I'm just curious if you have even had a second to wrap your head around the fact that you're going up against LeBron James. Yeah, he's been here before plenty of times, five straight, I think, finals appearances, so we got um, to bring our A game if we're going to you know, be a great team and a great player like that four times, and we're excited about the, the challenge because um, you know, he had to win his first one at some point, and um, you know, 
nobody on our team has experienced that. So we're going to be fighting like crazy every night. We got home court advantage that we need to uh, capitalize on, and it's going to be uh, a battle. It's going to be fun. This is what every player you know dreams about when you come into the league, playing for a championship. You're four wins away from your goal, and um, you know we're excited about it. Steph, you've always been a really confident person and, <laughs> and, and very optimistic. But back in 2012, before all this started, did you think it would turn around this quickly? Does this surprise you how, how quickly this all turned around? You never know exactly when it's going to happen, but you're going to be ready for, you know, to take advantage of a team that we had so much talent. Obviously, Coach Kerr came in and um, has done a great job of taking us to the next level. Six years is kind of a long time, so you, uh, since I've, I've been here and, and a lot of work's gone into it, and obviously it's not just me, so um, I'm pretty, pretty proud of, of everybody that's a part of this, this journey, and um, it's going to be a special journey, you know, to ride this next, these next two weeks, two or three weeks to uh, finish off the job, so um, six years is a long time to wait. Obviously, the Bay Area's been waiting 40 plus years, so um, I think it's time. Steph, you mentioned uh, your coach just a few minutes ago in your comments there, and I'm curious. I mean, it seems to me the key moment for this franchise might have been before the season started when he was named coach, and it was a very controversial thing getting rid of Mark Jackson and bringing in this rookie coach who had a great pedigree and everybody liked the guy, but we didn't know what he was going to be like as a coach. And, what, what was the initial reaction like from the players, and how did you embrace this guy, and how did he embrace you guys? It was a tough summer because we, it's been well documented. We, we came off of seven-game series against the Clippers, and, you know, it was a shock. Obviously, they want to have a coaching change, but I assessed it as kind of two separate decisions. I, I didn't agree with the first one, but then, you know, you got to make the right hire, and I think they did that. Obviously, they did that. So, um you know, we hit the ground running in training camp with his philosophy of, uh, you know, ball movement, player movement, obviously keeping the defense that we've established the last two years the same and taking it to another level. So um, he's a humble guy that understands he took over a talented team and he's, um, you know, very fortunate that, you know, we've had some experiences under our belt and we can, we can, we're not rebuilding or anything. So we're, uh, we're poised to uh, have a great season, and, and I think we've exceeded a lot of people's expectations, but this is something that, as players, we, we've been eyeing, and, um, you know, it's nice to have ourselves where we are four wins away from a championship.